let us come back and see these reactions let us uh, read the question first they've given us explain the reducing properties of ph3 or it may also be asked as uh, complete the following reactions right phosphine if i have to speak about its reducing nature <coughs> let's see how is it going to convert now whenever you find in the question paper phosphine along with the sulfate or chloride or silver nitrate simple i said it is already it's going to it, it has its reducing property or reducing nature now see it's going to convert the sulfates into their phosphides again once again copper sulfate is going to form copper phosphide and sulfuric acid comes out now here mercuric phosphide and hcl comes out now here it's going to precipitate out silver the silver precipitate out and the leftover comes out as nitric acid and phosphoric acid let's see the copper phosphide i said cup then h2so4 how should i write this cup copper valency is 2 phosphorus valency is 3 copper phosphide now mercuric phosphide now let us write hgp phosphorus valency is 3 mercuric valency is 2 and the corresponding hcl simple now when i have to write this being a reducing agent it is going to precipitate out silver from silver nitrate you get silver out left over hno3 is left out nitric acid and the leftover <coughs> there is still phosphorus isn't it this comes out as h3po3 the oxo acid of phosphorus hypophosphorus acid so it's going to form these three compounds copper sulfate if you see prepare the corresponding copper phosphide mercury chloride prepare the corresponding phosphide when you see silver nitrate try to precipitate out silver and the leftover is nitric acid and h3po3